if you've worked with Microsoft at all or listened to anything from Microsoft around some of the advantages of Azure, you're going to find out rather quickly one of the big advantages is that ability in many cases to separate storage costs from compute costs. So I want to talk about three things around why that matters. And I know as I said cost because that's the primary reason when they talk about focusing on it and they help you out, they're going to come to you and say, well, you know, one of the big reasons that you can use Azure and see cost reduction is because you have chosen to use a product that we have in our stack like HD Insight, which allows me to separate storage from compute. Sounds great. That is a cost savings. Why is it a cost savings? It's the biggest reason. If I don't need to use a service, why should I have it turned on? Storage is storage. Ironically, if you store data, it's going, you need to pay for it the whole time. So that separating that from compute, where when I actually want to interact with that data, I turn on compute resources and use that, or I scale up or scale down those compute resources. We'll talk about more of that later. It, this is a key thing. So my cost factor around that is compute is the most expensive part of the cloud. So the more I can reduce compute, the more I can reduce my overall cost. So that's the primary reason people look at it and why it's promoted. But I want to bring up two other reasons that I feel is really important to consider this important separation between compute and storage. Storage and compute needs often do not scale the same way. I can increase my storage and increase the amount of data that I need without necessarily having to need more compute resources because what I'm interacting with has not changed from a performance standpoint. This is a very real thing because if you're looking at that scenario, you can actually continually increase your data, but you're focused kind of on a hot spot of the last two months, for instance. So I have access to everything, but I don't necessarily have to worry about, you know, paying for extended compute. So if you look at a VM schedule, for instance, as you start to support more data inside a virtual machine, which doesn't really separate this out as well, you will be able to, um, you typically have to add more compute in order to support more storage because it's just the nature of how the, that op, op, works operationally. Databases are a similar scenario. But in Azure, we start to move into these structures that support it. We can now separate those needs and tune and, and monitor and manage accordingly. So we're managing to the need that we have in the organization. So I could actually increase my compute without increasing, increasing storage because you now, so I don't increase my storage costs, but I am able to expand on what I could do from a compute standpoint. Also, multiple compute resources can leverage the same storage assets. So if we look at this, this is a, is a very cool concept, especially around the Azure storage structures like uh, blob storage, file storage, uh, Azure Data Lake store. It becomes a really interesting, compelling story to talk with users and development teams about the fact that I can now store one version of my data and interact with it with, uh, let's, take, let's take HD Insight, for example. Um, I have Azure Data Lake data stored. Now I can actually turn on Spark ML because I want to do some machine learning with Spark against the data set. But I can, at the same time, I can turn on Interactive Hive against that same data set, allowing people to run reports. The way that the system is designed in Azure allows you to separate these two concerns and take advantage of it. It is not just a cost play. Remember, it is part of what you want to do around enhancing your ability to manage the overall experience for your team, your data, and your users. So if you have any questions about that, click the link below. We'd be happy to give you some more information. Thanks for joining us today.